we are doing a makeup video! trying today is BLK Cosmetics which is apparently the brand of uh, actress Anne Curtis Smith. I think it's going to be really hard to do this video <laughs> where my cat actually wants <laughs> to play with the makeup. So say hello to little peanut, my kitten, my sweet kitten. Hello, I'm peanut. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, today I'm super, super excited because uh, I have some new makeup and I have new outfits. So I'm going to show you a little get ready with me, um, show you how I apply the makeup and um, I will test and review it and I will put on some really, really nice clothes. Let's uh, take a look into my very tiny <laughs> uh, wardrobe. Okay, here is here is a little sneak peek of uh, what to expect today. I had this dress on when we went uh, for dinner and I got so, so many messages on Instagram asking which brand it is. And I'm so happy to announce that I partnered up with Farm Rio, which is this beautiful clothing brand with very vibrant dresses and outfits. Um, I also have a bathing suit with really, really nice patterns. Um, something more casual with just a t-shirt well, just the t-shirt, you know. And the difficulty that I'm going to have today is that my cat just loves, loves my dresses so much. She just keeps jumping on it. Peanut? Peanut? Are you going to be naughty? Are you going to be naughty or nice? Hmm? Oh no. Yeah, she loves to play with that. Yes! Hmm? You love my dresses, right? Okay, I have to put her somewhere where she is not going to uh, climb my new skirt. Uh, the skirt is also from Farm Rio. I really, really love it. It gives me such tropical vibes and I'm so, so excited for a new wardrobe. So, I'm going to show you how I'm going to style my face according to my outfits and oh my god I'm so excited <laughs> okay so I'm just going to tie my hair quickly because I don't like it when it's in my face okay so um, before we get started I just wanted to show you what I got I'm not a makeup pro I barely wear makeup especially here in the Philippines I just like to go very natural but sometimes I feel fancy and put on some lipstick and uh, sometimes some makeup. Um, what I really love is blush. So I got this uh, contour blush highlight palette and it comes in really, really nice colors. Uh, this is a kind of a brownish, this is a golden one and this is a pink one. So I think I'm going uh, to have a few variations. I would definitely go with the golden one for the swimwear and the, the pink one for more girly looks. Um, maybe even, maybe even with my casual look. Uh, where I just put on a t-shirt. I really like it when um, you have some really nice pink cheeks. I can't find my mascara brand here in the Philippines, so I decided to try a new one. Um, I'm going with the BLK Mega Lift Mini Mascara. I like my lashes very, very dramatic, so I put on a lot of mascara. So I'm very curious to see how this one turns out um, when I put it on. Do I have to do this? Do I have to do this like this? Oh look! <laughs> Not a makeup YouTube channel here, just trying some new things. Then I got the mini creamy all over paint. Apparently you can use it as eyeshadow, you can use it for your cheeks and also for your lips. So I went with the pink topaz, which is uh, really a nice pink color. 
then a little bit more brownish which is called the sunstone and the red diamond for a dramatic red lip look i also got a foundation um, i like to have my foundations liquid my skin dries out when i put on matte uh, powder foundation so i'm very excited to see this one unfortunately i couldn't test the tones in the shop due to corona and last one is the long lasting liquid matte lipstick Ooh. which is a little bit darker red so i think i might go with this one for the for the long dress who is excited i'm excited <laughs> so uh let's make a little transformation here Okay, so we're going to start with the BLK foundation. Um, I don't put on any primer or any uh, contour. I'm not a Kardashian, so I don't need that much makeup. I don't feel comfortable with too much makeup on my face. So I have this little sponge. I'm going to apply a little bit of makeup on here. Come on, come on, come on. So I just applied a little bit of makeup on here. And I will just distribute it on my face. I also realized that I got very um, unclear skin from wearing the masks, especially in this area. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a new thing now. Pimples from wearing masks. <laughs> okay, so far the foundation is looking good. I think it matches my skin tone. It gives my skin enough coverage and it still looks and it still looks very natural, which is really good. It doesn't look too powdery. And it basically gives my skin a very light correction. So it doesn't look too much. Ta-da! So I think this looks really good. Quite happy with it. I couldn't find an eyebrow pencil at the shop. Um, that's why I'm going to use my eyebrow pencil today. The makeup trend goes more towards looking more natural. Um, I don't like it when it's too much. I used to wear a lot of makeup when I was younger. I used to have smoky eyes and it would just take like one and a half hours to put on some makeup before going out. Um, now I like it more casual. Just to highlight a little bit of my brows because I managed to grow my brows. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of patience, but uh, this is how they look naturally. So I just kind of fill the, the gaps a little bit, but I don't like to do too much to them as I want to maintain the, the natural look of them. Okay, so I applied the eyebrow liner and now it's time for the mascara. So I like a very dramatic look with my eyes. So I'm just going to apply the first layer. And something that I notice immediately is it separates the lashes really nicely so they don't stick together. Okay, so this is the comparison uh, with mascara on, with no mascara on, with just one layer. So I'm just going to apply a second or third layer just to see if it makes a difference. Okay, so this is how it looks with all the mascara on and I'm so excited. I really, really love it. Um, it opens up the eyes and it adds a little bit drama, but it's not too much. It, it still looks very, very natural. So, what's next? The blush. Blush! Okay, the next one is the contour blush and highlight palette. Um, as mentioned, I'm not a huge fan of uh, contouring I just don't want to change my face I love my face features I want to highlight the things that are that I think are, is very pretty on my face but I don't want to change too much of course you can use the the darker color to kind of contour if you feel like it no judgment here it's just my personal taste I like it very natural so I'm just going to see how it looks so if you apply the contour maybe use a thinner pencil brush pencil I don't know what that I don't know what that is called I'm not, but I don't know <laughs> anyways uh, what I want to do is add some glitter to my face to give it a very um, natural look so I'm just going to add a little bit of the brown one to give it a nice shape and I'm just going to apply it here on my cheeks it's a mix of the brown and the golden one Wow, 
wow that's so nice so i'm not sure if you can see the difference on camera this is the side that i put on the blush and this is the one without so it gives your cheeks a little bit nicer look that's all that i do with contouring um, you can also kind of make your nose nose smaller or i don't know all the things <laughs> i'm not a pro when it comes to that i just love to put on some um, brush to make my face look very uh, lovely and that's it okay let's apply the second side okay that's it it's pretty good the powder is very very soft and it adds a really nice shimmer to the face especially when you're out in the sun just add some a little bit sparkle so the next one is of course the lips I think I'm not going to apply anything to the eyes but I'm definitely going to put on something on my lips and I think it's going to be either this bright pink one wow or this wow that is really really dark red one doesn't cover that much so I think it looks very natural when you apply it but considering my outfit choices I'm going to put on the pink topaz oh that, that's so soft mm. Oh, I like the feeling when I put it on my lips. Okay, ta-da! So what I really love about this one is it's super, super soft when you put it on. It's not sticky. I usually prefer matte lipsticks, but this one gives you kind of a matte look without it being too dry. So usually it dries out on your lips, but this one is so nice. So this is the showdown. I just put in some earrings from a Filipino brand that is called Napintas. Oh, this looks so nice. I feel so glamorous. The skirt from Farm Rio is so beautiful. It has so many details. Um, it has some parrots on here, some flowers, and they have this, and it has this really cute pattern. And on the one side it's red, on the other side it has like this um, pinkish color oh so nice we have some avocado here some fruits it looks so stunning casual so I'm going to change my makeup just a little bit just put on a different lipstick um, and that's it so next one that I'm going to apply is the sunstone but I think it looks pretty well with my it looks pretty good with my hair color so I'm just going to fix my hair a little bit and get dressed again and show you what I got Et voila this is my next outfit it's this yellow dress which sparks joy i'm a huge huge fan of yellow dresses and especially when they are a little bit wider and if you gain a little bit of weight like me during quarantine this is the perfect dress you can't even notice that i gained weight i added a belt here just to kind of keep it together i added some white sneakers to this dress just to keep it a little bit more casual this is a dress that could go really well for your vacation i was a little bit skeptical because of the lipstick it's so so dark but it goes really well with uh, the belt also with my dark hair color and also added some new earrings also from the pinters um, to give it a little bit more of a different color pop in the overall outfit so this is it <laughs> Okay, next outfit is going to be a bathing suit. I'm not going to change much with the makeup right now. I'm just going to put in different earrings, style myself a little bit differently. But uh, yeah, I am so happy about this lipstick. <laughs> 
Okay, the next outfit is actually a bathing suit. Um, I combined it with a skirt. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I love to combine my bathing suits with skirts or just jean shorts. Uh, just because, you know, right now we can't really go to, uh, to the beach, right? So why not just use it as a fashion item? So for this outfit, I decided to go with these palm leaf earrings, which are so, so cute. And I just love all the patterns here from this bathing suit. It looks very bohemian. And if I take it down a little bit, so here we see the whole pattern of the bathing suit. It's so, so cute. Farmio has such beautiful designs. It kind of makes me a little bit slimmer, I feel like. It's, it's a little bit uh, tightening. So that's actually <laughs> quite good with my extra quarantine weight. <laughs> Ready for the next outfit? I am. But first, we're going to remove this lipstick and add some red. I just put on some red lipstick and I realized I applied it like a child, so I have to fix it just quickly. It's just not nice. Okay, we are done. Damn! Oh my god! Mm. Mm. <laughs> After applying all of these small lipsticks, I have to say I'm so so happy about the purchase. Um, they are so soft and look so good. What? Uh, so happy with it. And may I present to you my next outfit. So if you are more a casual type of person, Bamrio has a few basics that are really really eye-catching. I specifically chose this t-shirt in white uh, that just says Libra and it has a few drawings on it so it's really really cool it's kind of a statement piece to let everybody know that I'm a Libra <laughs> and with t-shirts I just love to put them here together or tuck them into some jeans and talking of jeans I have a jeans jacket that I'm just going to kind of put on here and voila, my outfit is done. I think it's really nice to have a pop of color when the outfit is actually very simple and uh, bright in this case. So for the pop of color, I went with red lipstick and I have the, these really nice earrings uh, with red and blue, which you can find in this outfit. So I think it's a great fit. Wow, I feel like I'm a fashion Instagrammer. <laughs> but I can't wait to show you the whole outfit because it just it's mind-blowing first let us put on the matte lipstick oh this is also dark okay I've just applied the lipstick and it's so dark it's so so dark and it also dries immediately so it's a matte lipstick mm, it looks very cool though uh, I think it goes really well with my earrings right now also with these um, patterns here in red dark red it looks really really nice and it's long lasting so it's good and this is my final look this is the glamorous evening look i really love this long dress it's so full of details it's completely bohemian it has like these super cute uh, prints on and i decided to put on some high heels as you can see and it makes me look very tall which is really uh, flattering for this kind of dress we have long sleeves which i really like I'm, I'm a huge fan of long sleeves especially because my arms are a little bit more dominant so long sleeves make you look a little bit longer and let's get a little bit closer uh, this is the lipstick with the whole look so i decided to go for a sleek 
wet look kind of uh, put my hair in the back um, I also have some very dramatic earrings I think these are from Charisma Maria also a Filipino brand I will link it down below and I'm wearing my necklace that I always have on um, and I decided to go with a bralette it's it's a really cute one pops a little bit and it goes really well with the uh, black earrings and the black shoes so th this is the complete look and oh guys i i love it Woke up early just to see the sun with every possibility you're making all of me undone not so sure yet enjoyed this little get ready with me i want to thank farm rio for partnering up with me and for sending me the most amazing outfits to try and oh my god i'm, I'm so in love every piece has so much love for details it's really beautiful and i'm so happy to have new clothes to show off it's just so nice to have pieces that are high quality and look so so good and fit my personal style you guys know i'm a little gypsy soul so all of the outfits were perfect for me on this occasion i have to make a confession i'm a huge fangirl of ann curtis smith and she was actually the reason why i wanted to try her makeup line um, as far as i know she partnered up with two other women that are doing a great job actually i tried all of the makeup that i purchased um, and it's it's so nice the foundation is very light high quality i wasn't sure if i got the right color for me so i went with porcelain porcelain all day matte liquid foundation this is perfect for my skin i'm not sure about your skin you have to try it out for yourself but I think this is my go-to foundation from now on. It's really nice. The powder that I got is super soft. Um, it applies a lot of color onto your cheeks, so it's not like you have to brush uh, for a while. You just apply a little bit. That's it. It's perfect. Stays on, which is really important, um, so you can have it on your whole day. My cat is uh, wants to join us. <laughs> I had to put her away because she was she was just uh, too distracting. Right? <laughs> I also love the uh, long lasting lipstick so I can kiss my cat. Yes? <laughs> the mascara was a huge surprise because I usually don't use mascaras with such a small brush or like with this elastic brush, but it turned out to be really, really great. It gives my eyes a very natural look but also looks super super good and huge winner is the uh, mini creamy all over paint that i um, tried on i'm really obsessed with the brownish color one it, it looks so good and these are so soft when you apply them it just feels good on your lips and it looks so so good um, the color is very intense so when you apply it it looks like you put on lipstick and not like a liquid um, what is it called uh, you know what I mean lip liner lip liner it's lip liner oh my god I don't know anything about makeup <laughs> but what I know is that these products are really good on my skin and uh, I'm very excited to try a few other local brands here in the Philippines just to see what uh, there is but I think this is like international standard it's so so good highly highly recommended I'm not just saying that to impress my celebrity crush and Curtis Smith if you're watching this I really adore you <laughs> I hope I gave you a fashion inspiration, also a few ideas how to change up your look with just a few things. All that I got is basically this. It's like a, it's like the set that I purchased, um, and it is you can do so much with your outfits and just the right accessories with your hair, um, with your shoes, with everything. I didn't include bags in in today's uh, video, but yeah, you can put on hats and everything. It you can just change up uh, your look with a few tweets so 
Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video and remember to subscribe. Hit the notification bell for the next video to come because I think uh, it's going to be an exciting one. You'll find out what it is in the next vlog. Sending you lots of love from the Philippines. Bye. Mwah.